All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you the five things that you need to do if you need to let go of the ex. If you need to move on and you're having this heartbreak and it just, it keeps eating at you, like eating at you for years and years and years. Like this woman was the love of your life and you just don't know how to let her go. And everybody that you date, you compare her to or she just doesn't measure up. Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the five steps. And if you don't watch all five steps, you're gonna have a hard time. And trust me, I know a thing or two about breakups because I run a program called Broken to Badass. And in that program, this is one of the things that we do. Depending on the severity of the breakup, maybe you, maybe she just left, or if the worst case, she's been cheating on you for years, it can take a little bit more. But, and we go over that in a lot more detail in that program. But in this situation, even in that one, you always have the first thing you have to do is accept your feelings. You see, most guys, they don't wanna feel. They don't wanna feel at all. They've been told their whole life to suck it up, buttercup. They go into military, they say, fuck your feelings. Put some dirt in it, let's get moving. And this is the problem. There's nothing wrong with your feelings. What's wrong with it is you getting carried away with your feelings. And so the only acceptable feelings that most men have is anger, guilt, and happiness. Oh, and maybe some humor. And that's all that they can have. They just, this is how these guys live. They're like, I just do all these things for my family because I feel guilty or I feel ashamed. And then when it becomes too much, I just lash out in fucking anger. They're not really allowed to feel sadness. They're not allowed to feel anxiety. And so what ends up happening is like they're designed to, or they've been taught to their entire life to be this workhorse, to serve, 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 serve this woman, serve his kids, serve his country, serve his business. And so he doesn't accept his feelings because most of this stuff, his life is, is completely designed to do all the shit he doesn't want to do. And so he's not getting a lot of fulfillment out of it. So the first few things that he does get fulfillment out of, he leans into way too heavily, like sex or drugs or sports or whatever, video games. And so if you want to get over a breakup, you have to start accepting your feelings. You have to start actually looking within and allowing that to be there instead of trying to suppress it or sedate by distraction. And all sedation is some form of distraction, right? I'm just gonna work harder. I'm just gonna drink more. I'm just gonna distract myself with the next thing so I don't have to deal with what's inside. The main problem why guys can't get over any kind of breakup or really deal with any kind of emotion. And so if you wanna get over the breakup, you have to be willing to step into the pain and allow it to be there until it works its way out. If you're trying to get away from her, if you're trying to break up with her, if she's trying to break up with you, you gotta cut off the contact. I know you're like, I, I just wanna ease out of it or I just wanna feel connected to her so I keep reaching out to her and I know, and the thing is is that every time you do it, it just makes it worse, it just hits the reset button because every time you do it, you give your power away. And so when guys keep going back into the pit of despair because his wife left him or she cheated on him and he goes and he reaches out to her and she doesn't give him what he wants, he feels like he goes right back to square one because he just gave her all his power. He just showed her that he needs her. He's not finding the power within. He's not dealing with his own emotions. He's looking for her to make him feel better, which is one of the reasons why he broke up to begin with. So if you want to have a better life and to get past this, you have to actually get past it. Stop going after her. Stop reaching out to her. Stop trying to get her to talk to you to make you feel better about yourself. It's not going to work. You have to lean into the pain. You have to lean into the sadness and the loss and allow it to be there and work its way out. Because if you don't do that, you're just gonna extend this forever. It's just gonna keep going on. And then when you try to date somebody else, you're gonna still be thinking about her. Or if you try to date somebody else, you're gonna compare her to her. And nobody wants that. And you don't want that either. You wanna have a great, awesome relationship in the, in the future. And that you sabotage that by keep connecting with her, keep contacting her. It keeps that pair bond still alive. If you wanna break it off with her, if you wanna have that separation, you have to actually separate. You have to actually break that pair bond with her. And you're not gonna do it if you keep reaching out. And because you keep reaching out, most likely you've lost yourself in a relationship. Most guys, they get with a woman and she becomes his entire world. And so he drops his friends away, he drops doing his habits, he stops going to the gym, and every, his life just becomes, I go to work and I hang out with my woman, we Netflix and chill, and that's it. That's like his whole life. That doesn't have anything going on outside of her. So get moving on who you are and the things that you like and enjoy. And when you go out there and you get into all these things you enjoy, you're gonna meet people and you're gonna create your own social network. And you're gonna have people that like you and they're gonna wanna hang out with you. They're gonna invite you to things. And so then your entire world isn't hinged on her. You have some sort of a backup plan. You have some sort of emotional support network. Make your life more than just having a relationship. And it never should have got that way to begin with. You should never be in a place where your relationship is like 90% of your life outside of work. Like it should be a part of it, but you should have friends, you should have interests, you should have other things going on, hobbies something that you're striving for, some sort of compelling vision that you're trying to build out in your life so you can have a legacy for your children. You should be building out these things. 
But if you make her your entire world, you'll lose yourself. And then you get in a situation like this where you can't move on from it. Having these people can help give you perspective and give somebody to talk to. You can use a therapist, sure, or even better, you join a coaching program that can actually show you and guide you through this really fast. And then you have, this, you have these tools that you move forward with. You have this support network. You're not just doing it alone. You're not just in your house playing World of Warcraft for 14 hours straight. You're actually going out there and you're making a life that's worth living. And the cool thing is, is by being in this space, you're now ripe for meeting somebody else. Because if you're trying to use dating apps and my, meeting people, you're gonna find that it's difficult. Because what it does, it messes with people's brain, it messes with their perception of reality, of what people are really like and what dating's really like. But if you have a social network and you're meeting people, and you're going out and you're going to parties and you're having events, or you go to meetup groups, and you're actually meeting somebody, then now you have something in common with them right out of the gate. And so that makes it a lot easier to actually vibe with them and meet them and actually have friendships or even a new relationship in the future. And speaking of the future, you should be thinking about where are you going next. Guys die in a place where they don't have a future. They don't have a place that they can go win at. And I watch this all the time. Depression is a result of hopelessness. And when you don't have a compelling vision and your wife leaves you and you're going for a divorce and maybe she cheated on you and you're gonna lose half of your money and you're worried that you're even gonna see your children anymore, this hopelessness starts to set in and this is where depression starts to hit. And so you have to start getting excited about a compelling future. And right now you might not be feeling like it. You're gonna be feeling really down in the dumps. You're gonna be sad and you're gonna let those, process, those emotions process out. But what's gonna come out right after that is gonna be a desire to move forward. But it'll go a lot faster if you start planning it now. You start working on your feelings, you start working on your future, you start making an emotional support network, you start having friends, start getting out there doing things. This process is going to accelerate. So you having something to go towards, some sort of compelling vision is gonna pull you from the future instead of getting pushed by the pain of the past. And if you've done all four of those things and you're still in the dumps, seek some support. You can have a counselor or a therapist or even better, a coaching program like mine and get in contact with other people in the same place as you doing the same thing. I can't tell you how helpful it is to be talking to other men who are also trying to get over a breakup the emotional support that they'll give you is like nothing else. Like most people don't get it, right? Your friends aren't normally gonna get it. They'll say, hey, just go sleep with somebody else. And it's like, it just doesn't work that way. They don't understand how bad a breakup can be, how much it can destroy your future, destroy your livelihood, destroy your identity. And so you need to be with guys who've gone through the same thing as you. And if you wanna know more about that, go to brokenabadass.com. But in the meantime, you can also go seek therapy or go to a counselor, they'll help you as well. Don't be afraid to actually go out and say, hey, I need help. Most guys don't wanna ask for help. They wanna do it on their own, watch videos like this on YouTube, which is fine, it can be incredibly helpful, but at the same time, there's no substitute for human contact. There's no substitute for a guy that's in your fucking corner and say, hey bro, you got this, don't worry. When, you, when the shit hits the fan, you can call me anytime. There's no substitute for that. When he tells you, yeah, I get it, dude. I've went through it too. My wife did the same thing. My girl did the same thing. This is what you should look out for. You're like, oh shit, somebody understands, finally. So always, if you need to seek help, seek help. Don't wait until you've, like your entire marriage is falling apart. Don't wait till your relationship's completely falling apart to start seeking help. You should be seeking help once you feel disconnected from her. So if you're in a situation now where you're feeling disconnected from your girlfriend or your wife and you're like, hey, where's the sex going? Why aren't we connected? And you're watching this video, now's the time to do it. Don't wait till she says, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. That's probably too late at that point. It's way harder. Get on it now. Like literally today, right now, Click, go to Broken to Badass or click down in the description. Get some fucking help or go see a therapist immediately. It comes to women in relationships, once they make the decision they're done, they're done. They're not on the fence anymore. That's why they're done. They'll ride the fence for a long time, planning their exit strategy, and then they're done. And it's really hard to turn it around. You can, but why would you go through that if you don't have to? So go get help now. All right, my brother, if you're in the dumps, she's left you and you're trying to move forward, I'm telling you these five steps is the way to go. It's really, it's really simple. It's not necessarily easy, but it's simple, right? Start working on your feelings, start seeking help from somebody, have an emotional support network, stop contacting her, and focusing on the future. These are incredibly important. And I know I've had, I've had thousands of guys I've worked with one-on-one, -on -one, you know, these guys sit across from me on a Zoom call or right here, like at a desk or here in the studio, and it's always the same. Like guys, guys are built the same for the most part. Everybody feels like, like their situation is, is different. I know I did back in 2015 when I was cheated on and I was trying to figure this stuff out and I didn't want to have it happen to me again. And so it was hard, it was really hard. 
was one of the hardest things I had to do in my life. It was incredibly painful. I wouldn't wish, wish that, that pain on anybody when you find out that your, your wife is cheating on you. But these are, the, these are the rudimentary steps. You can do more if you want to do more. Of course, you know, we have a program called Broken to Badass that can help you with that. You can go to brokenbadass.com if you're interested. And this is the process, right? Again, get somebody to talk to, have an emotional support network, focus on the future, start focusing on your feelings, having a compelling vision. These are crucial for you. And you can get through this too. Don't be an island. Go out there and talk to some other guys. If you're thinking about like, you're in a super depressed place and you're, you're thinking about some other stuff you probably shouldn't think about, actually look for some help. And if you're watching this video, you probably need to see this one here, which is the five mistakes to avoid if you're going through a breakup. Because if you do these things, it's just gonna make everything worse. You're gonna push her away, you're gonna make yourself more depressed, and well, we don't want that to happen. We want you to move forward as fast as possible in your power. So brother, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this, again, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you wanna see more and I'll talk to you soon.